Welcome design students. In this lesson we're going to continue our study of dynamics in Maya by working with the Bifrost fluid system to create a scene that looks something like this. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is switch to the FX menu set and then very importantly we need to create a new project folder you can name this whatever you want make sure you know where it's going I'm going to just put mine on my desktop but you should put this in the folder that you've created for this class and then we need to do one more thing, actually two more, well maybe three. I want you to right click on the timeline and turn off cached playback and then right click on the timeline and change the playback speed from real time to play every frame. And then let's change the timeline length from whatever it is to a thousand frames and zoom in on our thousand frames by dragging the zoom slider below the timeline. So let's start out by creating our first glass. Let's come to the modeling shelf and create a cylinder. Most simulations work best if we use real world or close to real world dimensions. Remember the units in Maya are centimeters. So let's come to the poly cylinder node and type in the height, let's type in 15 centimeters, which is about the height of a glass. Doesn't have to be exact, just close. And then let's move it up so it's on the surface. And then let's take our move tool and we're going to snap the pivot to the center vertex on the bottom down here. So hold down D and that allows us to move the pivot point on your keyboard. And V and that turns on vertex snapping. You can see it turning on up here. And move that uh, pivot point down until it snaps onto the bottom of that center vertex. And then let's snap our cylinder to the grid by holding down X and moving it down. And that snaps to the grid. And that's now centered on the grid and we know it's on the ground. Making a glass shape is very easy. All we need to do is switch to vertex mode and grab these top vertices and scale them out in the X and Z axes only and then grab the bottom vertices and scale them out somewhat along the same two axes and then we get sort of this cup shape. You can make it a little taller if you'd like. And now to create the inner walls of the cup we're going to switch to face mode and drag a marquee selection like so and then we're going to hold down control and we're going to drag up and deselect the faces along the sides so that we can get our scale tool hold down shift and scale inward to inset those top polygons somewhat then we're going to switch to the move tool hold down shift and drag those polygons we just created down to the bottom. And then we're going to switch back to the scale tool. Don't need to hold down shift for this. And we're going to scale these in so that they're inside the glass. And then we can switch to wireframe view and look at our glass and see if the walls are consistent. We could make them thicker or thinner if we need to. I think that looks pretty good. And I can get the move tool and move these polygons down a little bit. So now we have our first cup. This scene will look better if this cup is smooth. So let's push two on our keyboard. And then of course now we need some control loops to control the smoothing. Get the multi-cut tool and hold down control 
and create some control loops along the top edge, like so, to control that. We can put one in the center as well. And then we can create one on the very bottom of our glass, as close to the bottom as you can get. And then we need to create one in the inside of the glass that's as close to the bottom as you can get. And now we have a nice smooth glass. Turn off the multi-cut tool by clicking the select tool and let's switch to object mode. Let's do a couple more things. Let's go ahead and create a surface plane our ground plane for our scene by creating a plane and then scaling it out. And we don't need all these segments here, so let's come to the polyplane node and give our plane one width and height segment. And then let's get the Move tool and select the cup you created. Hold down Shift to create a copy of your cup. And with your cup positioned here, we can now easily animate it since we moved the pivot point to the bottom. To animate the cup, let's make sure our timeline or our playhead is at frame 1. Just drag it back to frame 1 like so. Get your Rotate tool and then come to the channel box. Rotate your cup so that it spills towards the other cup, and if it's not quite in the right position, go ahead and get your Move tool and move it up a little bit if you want to. Having snaps on for your Rotate tool makes this process a little easier. So we're going to rotate this thing in the X direction. So start it at zero, and then right-click on the X rotation and select key selected and that creates a keyframe here in the timeline. Move your playhead forward a little bit and then tilt your cup downwards. And then come back up to rotate X and select key selected. And now, if we push play, you can see we have our cup is animated. This looks a little fast to me, so I'm going to hold down Shift and my middle mouse button, and I'm going to drag and select that keyframe, and then I'm going to hold down my middle mouse button again and move it forward to slow it down. I'm going to play that and see if I like that better. I like that much better. So now we have our scene set up. Let's make sure we save it. And if you created your project folder correctly, you should be able to save it directly into the scenes folder of the new project folder that you created at the beginning of this video. And when we come back in the next video, we'll create the Bifrost particle system. And I'll see you then.